Now, if we enter the player's view and go down into the game world, very slowly, if I press shift now, I'll just slam it to the floor, so I'll just do it naturally. You can see this is much nicer. It took a lot less effort, and you can't tell. It's not so obvious that these are the same tree. You can tell they're the same tree, they're the same texture, the same color, same limbs. But for one tree sprayed into the world, it's created a nice dynamic forest. <clears throat> now, the first thing I notice here is this horrid horrid line just slicing into the floor i have been through many walks in many forests and very 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 rarely very very rarely in fact almost never have i seen such clean incisions into the floor it's at this point we need to start doing some editing um the grass we've sprayed on will help to hide this but in areas where we've not sprayed on the grass it will be very very obvious i will enter the game play of you now and you can see exactly what i mean hit the test game it will load the sky preparing dynamic lights and installing physics now this is the view for the player now, as you can see, it's already looking nicer. We've got some nice dynamic shadows. The grass is slightly masking the trees coming down to the... That tree is obviously wrong. Wow, that is so wrong. Um, you can't just spray and pray. Um, you must edit and tweak and make nice. The spray tool is just for population. I mean, that is nice enough, but it can be nicer because you must always go in and edit you can't just spray and pray um, but you can see that the grass helps to mask but there's more that we can do and I'll show you that now the reason I like these trees so much is they have a very nice root system if you click on this tree or oh, by the way, terrain mode and edit mode, if you want to press the buttons for them, they are up here. That's terrain mode. And that's entity mode. E. And terrain mode. T. Oh, <laughs> I painted the floor. Okay, I'll just paint that back. No matter. It's a feature. We don't make mistakes here. Just happy accidents. Um, <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to delete that tree. I'm going to delete that tree. I am going to delete that tree. And that tree. I am definitely going to delete that tree. On that one. I'm going to keep that one. I can work with that. This is on the path, so I'm going to delete him. He, I'm going to move him over there a bit. I like that. Um, I like those. Oh, the clump over here. I'll delete that. And I'll move him over there. And I'll move him back a bit. So it's just little tweaks. Little tweaks. Like that. Do that over there. Get some nice even coverage. Now, this is where the real fun begins. And by fun, I mean work. There we go. Just keep making little tweaks. Make it your own. Yeah. The more you do to make it unique, the more unique it will be to you. We'll start with this guy. He's relatively level. He's on a bit of a bumpy ground. Select him. And increase him until his roots start popping up. Like that. Now, in nature, tree roots tend to uh, be visible at the base of trees, enter the floor, and might sometimes pop up a bit later, like that one does though. Now, what I like to do, just sink them down a bit, and then we can just rotate it down like that. 
because that was up a bit. See here, I don't like that. So rotate it in so it tears itself into the floor. And they get right in there and check there's no hovering roots. And this looks nice. Okay, we can then take our paint grass tool to make sure he's got grass around him, which he has. Go back to edit mode. And there, I will just do a quick save because you should always save your progress periodically. That's something I should have mentioned before. It's very important because computer crashes, um, power cuts, whatever it is, you don't want to lose hours of work because of some random event that had nothing to do with you. So, file, save as, we'll call this one tutorial one dash one. So no matter what happens, that's saved.